Hey now, Adam Reaver, fujoshtone.com and EVHD Tuna. I'm gonna do a new D-Tuna setup video for you here. The old one is dark and ugly and horrible. Even though it's good info, let's try and update it so you can see what's going on a little bit better. So, step number one for the D-Tuna. Stabilize your bridge. This is the biggest problem, biggest mistake, most common mistake, anyway. So when I say stabilize your bridge, there's a couple of ways to do this. One, the easiest way, a tremolo stopper. Tremolo stopper in the back will allow your bridge to dive still, but won't allow you to pull up. So that keeps everything nice and stable. If your bridge is sitting on the body, like it is on this guitar, no problem, you're stable. Stable means not completely free floating. Can you still float your bridge and use a detuna? The answer is yes. You have to use a stabilizer in the back, meaning, uh, and I'll give you a couple examples. There's the WD Tremolo Stabilizer, which is a unit that resides inside the spring, keeps counter tension on the block, but you could still pull up. And what I like best is the black box stabilizer. It's a counteracting spring against the block. So when you pull up, the spring pushes forward, and then when you let go, it's always gonna push you back. When you detune, it's gonna hold the bridge's level position, keeping all the other strings in tune. You could also use the tremolo no for locking and unlocking. I kind of like the black box the best if you're going to still pull up. If you don't pull up a lot and if you're not that kind of player and you, you decide that detuning is more important than pulling up for you, use the tremolo stopper. Otherwise, black box. So the bridge is stable. We're all set. This one's on the body. We don't have to worry about it. So after we do our first step of stabilizing the bridge, we're going to loosen the nut up here, loosen the string. I'm going to take the locking bolt out. The D-Tuna comes with two locking bolts. Start with the shorter of the two. Put the spring over the bolt. Put the D-Tuna onto the bolt with the spring in there. Then I'm gonna put this assembly into the back of the saddle. Reseat the string. Lock it back in. I'm gonna put the string back under tension. So the D-Tuna is installed. Now, next step. With the D-Tuna in the out position, we're going to tune the string to D. In this case, in this case, we're going to tune it to C sharp because this guitar is set at a half step. So here, tune your guitar to D. One more thing. You want the fine tuner on the bridge. Back it all the way out. Then bring it down just till it touches the screw. And then bring it down a quarter turn more. Make sure the D tune is free. And this is just touching the screw. Tune to D or C sharp if you're in half step. I'm going to tune it a touch flat. Tune everything else. Then I'm going to lock the nut. I want to make sure I have a locked down D. I 
Okay. D tuner is still in the opposition. I have a locked down D. I'm going to push the unit in and down. Now, as a rule of thumb, I push the unit forward from the back of the unit and I stop it where the screw hits my hand. So it'll always come back to the same position. Now that I'm in my E position, I'm going to fine tune the detuner. To E. So when you come out, push down slightly, pull back. When you go in, push down slightly, go forward. Detune it. E to D, easy install. E to D. Um, and that's it. Let's take a listen, see what we got. <laughs> That's it. D-tuner man. E to D on the fly. Easy as pie.